Hi friends, welcome to Ufa Studies YouTube channel. This is part 38 in Azure Data Factory Real-Time Scenarios playlist. In this video, we are going to discuss about how we can execute Azure Data Factory pipeline from Logic App. So this may be one of the real-time scenarios where many times people will feel in middle of the pipe Logic App execution, they have to trigger a ADF pipeline process. So how to do that? So let's try to practically see this example. Let me go to browser. I have already uh, opened my day, uh, Azure portal here. So in this Azure portal, I have a data factory called uh, there is a ADF Mohit data factory. So let me open this data factory and let's try to create one pipeline first. And then we will try to create a logic app and execute the pipeline whatever we are creating now from that logic app. So I am opening data factory studio. So I am basically opening ADF Mohit data factory. Okay. So let's wait for the data factory studio to load here my data factory. And in this video, I am going to create a very simple pipeline. This pipeline can be as much complex as possible according to your own need actually. So I will be creating a simple pipeline by keeping a wait activity there. And what I will do, I will try to parameterize that wait time. So whether it has to wait for the 10 seconds or 20 seconds, everything. I will parameterize that part alone. And then I will try to execute that pipeline from my logic app. So let me go to this pencil icon. This is called author menu. So here, let's try to create a new pipeline and uh, this new pipeline name is so when you click this it will open this dialog so let me close minimize this section and here this is pipeline 3 okay so now inside this pipeline 3 i want to use only wait activity so let me take this wait activity so if you have seen my data factory playlist already you know that so wait activity will help you to wait the pipeline execution for that particular amount of the time and if you see here in this pipeline right now i click this white canvas area here i can create a parameters so let me create a new parameter and uh, I am going to name this parameter name as like wait time in seconds. Okay. So this is my parameter name and uh, type of this parameter I am going to use as an integer. So now if I go to wait activity, under wait activity, if I go to settings, uh, right now it says this wait activity will wait the execution for one second. So what I want is during run time, whatever the value I supply into that parameter, whatever I just created. So if I supply 10 seconds here, then 10 seconds it should wait. If I say supply 20 seconds here, then 20 seconds it should wait. So to do that under the wait activity, wait time in seconds, this is where I have to use a dynamic content. So let me hit this add dynamic content here. Let me close this dialog here. And here under parameters, I can see my parameter. This is the parameter what I created. And into this parameter, whatever the value I pass, up to that many seconds, this wait activity is going to wait the execution. So let me hit OK here. And then one, once we create a pipeline, we need to make sure to publish the pipeline uh, so that that published pipeline only we can trigger from the logic app. So let me hit this publish button once again to publish these changes and let's wait for the publish to complete here. So meanwhile, let me go to my Azure portal and here let's try to create a logic app. So let me hit this create resource. Under create resource, you need to search logic app to create a logic app resource. So here let me search for logic app l logic space app okay so when you search that it will show you this option logic app option hit select that option to create a logic app resource so let's wait for the blade to load here and uh, uh, let me hit this create button to create this logic app so here you need to select a resource group so maybe i want to keep this logic app in a resource group this mahir rg and then give a name maybe la hyphen mahir this is my logic app name what i want to give and location and all let it be default so plan time i am going to select consumption uh, if you want to know consumption plan means uh, like best for entry level actually here you will only pay for whatever the workflow you executed okay so i have created a logic apps playlist there are three to four videos kindly watch that playlist also to understand what is logic app and all so let me hit this review plus create button so this is going to validate the values whatever you entered for the logic app resource to create and if everything is fine it will enable this create button so you need to simply hit that create button to create your logic app so let's wait for the logic app creation to happen here between let me go to this data factory so here we added a parameter into this wait activity to dynamically say how many seconds it has to wait right so let me debug execute this and see whether it will work or not so the moment you try to run a pipeline it will say this pipeline has this parameter supply value to it so now let's assume if i supply value 10 here that means this 10 will go into this wait activity here and 10 seconds it will wait the execution so let me hit ok so this here i am trying to debug execute my pipeline so this debug execution if it successful or not 
this is only like for your testing purpose only you so whenever you want to do some testing you can do a debug executions and see that if you see here my pipeline execution is running here and if i see the weight activity input json it took the value 10 and now this pipeline execution will run more than 10 seconds for sure why because 10 seconds it has to uh, execute this weight activity after then it has to complete see duration is 11 seconds so that means my pipeline is working good no issues okay and if i go to monitor tab uh, under monitor tab right now under triggered i don't see any executions of my pipeline 3 okay so all good right so now what i am going to do this pipeline 3 i am going to run from the logic app and then we will see whether that execution appears under the monitor tab the tab of the idf or not so let me hit this go to resource button to go into this logic app whatever we just created and uh, in the designer uh, so logic app works something like this you need to select the trigger trigger type whether on a http request whether on a record entry into a sql database whether on a file creation in a blob storage like that there are multiple triggers are available so you need to select pick any one of the trigger and whenever that trigger event happens that's when the logic app will execute its workflow so for our demo purpose we are going to use a blank logic app here and inside the blank logic app I will use a HTTP trigger type for now because anyways I will be manually running this uh, logic app to see whether it will actually initiate my pipeline or not. So here to to do that so simply search like so you need to search for the connectors. So I am looking for the HTTP request type right. So I am looking for a connector with this name request. So that means whenever I send a request it has to run my logic app. So select this request connector and here whenever a HTTP request is received that's where the trigger. So this is what the trigger I am choosing it. So whenever a HTTP request is received, then immediately what you want to do, you need to select this new step. So in the request, if you want to seek some input from the uh, requester as a request body, then you can enter that schema and everything here. But uh, I'm not going to focus more on it. So let me minimize this. Yes, whenever a request appears, then in the next step, I want to run a ADF pipeline. So for that, you need to search a connector for the Azure Data Factory. So simply search like Azure Data Factory. So in the Azure Data Factory connector, we have an action called create pipeline run. So that is what we have to use. See Azure Data Factory connector came. So and if you see inside this Azure Data Factory connector under options, you have like a create a pipeline run. So this is what the action you need to select to create a pipeline run. So once you hit it, you need to sign in into your uh, Azure first here by hitting the sign in button. So here you need to make sure to sign in so that Logic App can go and fetch your subscriptions and also your uh, data factory names, resource groups names and everything and also pipelines inside the data factory. Everything will happen. The first step is to sign in here. So here let me select this uh, sign in account to with which I want to sign in here. And let's wait for the sign in to complete here. Once the sign in complete, you will see all the details. See here, here you need to select your subscription. So let me select my subscription here. And then here I need to select a resource group. So in which resource group my data factory is there. So my data factory is under this Mahir RG resource group if I am not wrong. And here it will give you all the data factories from that resource group. So my data factory name is ADF Mahir. This is what. And inside the data factory my pipeline name is pipeline 3 right. So see I am selecting my pipeline 3. So all this is fine. The tricky part is here. So if your pipeline has any parameters how to supply values to this. See, whenever you try to run any pipeline, it will ask you to supply some values into these parameters, right? So that's what happened, right? Even when I try to debug execute, it is saying, okay, this parameter is there in this pipeline, supply some value to it. Similarly, from the logic app, whenever I try to run this pipeline, I should make sure to supply value into this parameter. So how to do that? So let me show you that. So let me go to logic app here. Here under add new parameter, select these parameters here. And once you select it, it won't auto populate the parameters names from the pipeline. But here you need to enter all your parameter values as a JSON key value pairs. So JSON means open flower bracket, close flower bracket and your parameter names you should mention inside this double quote. So like for example, this is the parameter name, right? So the same name you should use in the JSON key and value to it. So maybe let's assume I want to execute this for the 15 seconds. So that means 15 is the value I am passing into this parameter and 15 value will come into this pipeline uh, parameter and uh, this wait activity will execute for the 15 seconds and then pipeline execution will complete. That is what it happens now. So let me uh, see here my parameter JSON is ready here. Now once everything is done simply hit this save button to save the changes and then uh, so this logic app trigger type is HTTP runtime, right? So whenever any HTTP request is issued, that's when it will uh, start the process and it will execute this action, create a pipeline run. In turn, it will execute this pipeline. So for now, I'm manually running it here by hitting this run button. So let me hit this run button to manually run this uh, trigger that will in turn execute my ADF pipeline. 
so you can see here uh, pipeline uh, manual execution is uh, going to start now uh, let's wait for the execution to kick off here see pipeline is the, the logic app executed here now if i go here and if i go to monitor tab i should see the see my pipeline 3 execution here see pipeline 3 is executing currently which is in progress and as a, let me go inside this pipeline and let's see how many seconds so we supplied 15 as a value right if you see this wait activity input json you, let me hit this input json see 15 seconds so that means my logic app is able to pass the values into my uh, parameters of the pipeline dynamically and also it is going to initiate a pipeline execution also since my pipeline has a very simple activity uh, that executed within a very less time okay so this is how you okay let me refresh here so by this time we can see the status of success okay so now very easily using this data factory connector and using a action action called uh, create a pipeline run we were able to execute a adf pipeline so i hope you enjoyed this video i hope this video will will be useful for you in your real time scenarios as well thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notifications whenever i add videos thank you so much